Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for joining this 30 days of yoga for complete beginners. How you feeling? I hope you're feeling so good in the body. This is day five. And we're gonna get started with a nice practice today that will integrate a balancing pose. Come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Bring your hands together. A nice, long, deep inhalation. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position, letting the sound of the OM bring your attention into the breath, the body, and the mind. And now we gently begin. Inhale, bring your arms out to a T-shape and we'll hold it for a couple breaths and just stay here feeling, breathing. Nice and easy. Slowly start to roll the shoulder joints forward and we'll just give some nice shoulder circles to bring health and healing into the shoulder joints. Stay there for a moment and then let's switch direction. Let's go back. Feel your breath and feel your body nice and easy. Back to the center, big T-shape, and then exhale, come on down. All right, let's shake out the shoulders for a moment. Then inhale, come over onto your hands and knees, and we'll get started in the hands and knees plank. Grip your fingertips, root down through the heels of the hands. And then we'll stay here for a couple of breaths, getting comfortable in tabletop. Nice and easy. Feel your breath, feel your body. Keeping the mind nice and calm, steady breathing. Nice and easy. Now let's gently roll through cat and cow. Inhale, extend the spine, long deep breath in. Exhale, round, push through the knees, tuck it under. Inhale again, extend your spine. Exhale, round, pull it under. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Draw your knees together and exhale back to child's pose. Stay in child's pose for a moment, connecting your breath and your body. Allowing the mind to be calm and aware. And slowly inhale, lift your head up. And Exhale, back to tabletop position. Now let's practice some opposite arm and leg lifts. Inhale, extend your right leg back and left arm forward. Then inhale, reach, and we'll hold for five. One, two, test out your balance. Three, really reach, strengthen and lengthen your back muscles. Four, we're almost there. Five, exhale down and round. Back to tabletop. Extend your right hand and left leg, and then inhale, reach. One, two, nice and easy. Three, keep reaching, keep feeling. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, set it down. Round, let's do it again. Right leg and left arm, inhale, reach. One, Two, stay with it, keep breathing, draw the navel in, stabilize your right shoulder. Four, soften the neck, kids, why we keep the gaze down. Five, exhale down and round. Okay, switch the sides, we have the right hand and the left leg, inhale, reach. One, deep breathing. Two, how are you doing? How's it feeling? Press into that left arm. Three, it's looking good. Four, five, down and round. Shake the shoulders, enjoy it for a moment. All right, let's prepare for downward facing dog. Curl your toes under and then inhale. Send the hips back and up, dropping the head down. 
Deep breathing for five deep breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two. Steady breathing. Steady deep breathing. Then slowly as you exhale, let's sing it back down to tabletop. Stay there for a moment and just give a little wiggle with your shoulders. Now let's prepare for plank pose. Step your right leg back, tuck that tailbone under, and inhale up to plank. Five breaths in plank. One, start to really love your planks. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, and five. Let's sink the knees down. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Let's come all the way down. Point the feet, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, upward facing. Press into the shoulders. Lift the spine long, deep breath in. Exhale, push it back to downward facing. From downward facing, let's walk half the distance forward, keeping your feet hips width apart. Soft bend in the knees, hold on to your big toes. Inhale, straighten the arms long, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. We'll stay five breaths. One. Deep, steady breathing. Two. Rolling the shoulders open, nice and easy. Three. Draw the navel in. Four. Almost there. Five. Inhale. Let's slowly lift the head up and exhale. Inhale. Come on all the way up to standing. Exhale. Feet together at the front of your mat. Inhale. Take a step out to the side. Spread your arms. Draw the navel deeply in. Now, Trikonasana, triangle pose on the right side. Rotate your right hip joint out and then fold inside your right hip joint. Reach around and either you can just take your yoga block, place it on the outside of your foot, press into the block, and then inhale, lift your left arm up. We'll stay for five breaths. One. Find that external rotation in your right hip joint. Two. Pressing out through the legs. Three, nice and easy, stay with it. Four, almost there, don't rush. Deep, steady breaths, five, drop the hand down. Inhale, to pick up the yoga block, pivot around to the other side. Find that swing inside the hip joint and then exhale slowly down. Press down, draw the navel in and inhale, lift the right arm up. Draw the navel in and we'll gaze up to the right fingers. Press through the legs. One. Deep, steady breathing. Two. Keep rolling the left shoulder blade down the back. Three. The navel draws in. Enjoy the practice. Four. Almost there. Stay with it. Deep, steady breaths. Don't rush. And five. Let's drop the hand down. Inhale. Come on back up. And let's move your feet together. You can move your block on over to the side. Now we start with the balancing pose. Sometimes it's easier to step off of your yoga mat. Let's do tree pose. So find your external rotation on the right side. Then rotate your right hip joint externally. Just feel it out for a moment. Take the ball of your foot and keep it on the floor. Draw the navel in and hands in prayer. Now, if this feels comfortable, go ahead and slide your foot up just a little bit so you can balance on your left foot. Feel the ball of your left foot at the base of the big toe and the little toe kind of working and your left heel firmly planted. If this tree pose feels good, go ahead and reach down and then glide up and hands in prayer. We'll stay five breaths. One, two, draw the navel in, keep breathing, three, if you fall out, it's no problem. Just try again. Four. Almost there. Five. Activate the pelvic floor and inhale. Lift the arms. One. Deep breaths. Two. Draw the navel in. Keep reaching. Three. Almost there. Four. And five. Hands back to prayer. All the way down. Hands by your side. Okay, just shake that out for a moment. How was your tree? Hope it was good. <laughs> 
I'm sure it was great. You know, the thing in practice is you can let yourself fall out and just enjoy the whole experience. You learn not by getting it right on the first try, but by falling, tumbling, picking yourself back up and trying again. Let's try the other side. Activate the pelvic floor and then let's rotate that hip joint out. Place the ball of the foot on the ground, stabilize, hands in prayer. So you can stay here. If your tree is a little wobbly, you're still working on planting your roots down, you wanna stay here. If it feels all right, let's just glide the foot up to the calf. Don't put it against the knee, or you might put too much pressure against the knee. Give a little tuck under your tailbone, and then just glide your foot up if that's accessible for you. If not, don't worry, just stay where it's comfortable. Hands in prayer, five breaths, one. Two, steady breathing, shoulder blades down, three, four, almost there. Activate the pelvic floor, five, inhale, grow the tree, one, reach up, elbows straight, two, enjoy it, three, steady breathing, four, almost there, five, exhale, slowly take the hands back to prayer position, and exhale, hands by your side, feet together, shake that out for a moment, come on back to the front of your mat, and let's begin again, inhale, raise your hands up, long deep breath in, exhale, fold forward, all the way down, Inhale, lift your chest, long deep breath in. Exhale, find your way back to plank pose. Hold your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing, come on back. Stay here for a few breaths, nice and easy. Lift the kneecaps, steady your mind. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out, nice and easy. Switch your gaze gently forward and then exhale, sink your knees down. Let's cross the feet underneath you and extend your legs. Tips of the fingers down, point the chest forward, open the feet, lift the kneecaps, Dandasana position. One. If it's comfortable for you, you can also flatten the hands down. Two, three, stay with it, keep breathing. Four, stay with it, deep breaths, almost there. Five, draw the navel in and let's prepare to bend forward. Here's our forward fold. Holding onto the shins, grabbing a strap and placing it around or holding onto your toes. Inhale, long deep breath in, exhale, forward fold. Take a moment, just feel your body. You can wiggle around a little bit and let yourself feel and breathe. Shoulders back, deep breaths. One, two, keep the mind nice and calm. Three, four, almost there. Five, inhale, let's lift the head up, exhale there. Slowly activate your pelvic floor and come on back up. Now, fold your right knee in. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. This is called Jamasha Sasana A, it's like a seated tree pose. Fold the right knee in, drop it out to the side, pull the heel close to the pubic bone. Now, grab a block if your knee is a little bit elevated and then place your knee on top of the block. That's gonna protect your knee from any injury and just make sure it has a little bit of a floor. If you don't need the block, you can move that over to the side. All is well. Heel close to the pubic bone. Orient your chest forward. Inhale, long, deep breath in. Exhale, fold. You can hold on to the shin. You can hold on to your foot. Find what works. We stay for a couple of breaths. One. Deep breathing. Two. Three, don't force. So although you're holding, you're not pulling. Just really feel and breathe. Don't judge the body, just feel what you feel. Four, nice and easy, almost there. Five, inhale, straighten the arms, exhale. Inhale, slowly come up, turn that right knee in, all the way forward. Now we do the left side, I'll show you from the side this time, okay? So, fold the left knee in, drop it out, your heel comes close to the pubic bone. The navel is in, then orient gently forward. 
Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, gentle fold. If you want that support under your knee, you can grab it, hold your forward foot, deep breaths. One, two, whatever's comfortable for you. Remember, it's your body. Three, don't push, just breathe. No fight, no force. Enjoy the moment, close the eyes, soften, do the inner work. Almost there. Five, inhale, let's lift the head up and exhale. Inhale, slowly lift your head up, cross your feet underneath you. We're going to find our way back to plank pose. We got our plank pose. Inhale, step one leg back, tuck the tailbone, other leg back. Stay there. We got our plank again. Keep it nice and solid. And exhale all the way down. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, switch your gaze gently forward. Exhale, sink the knees down. Cross your feet underneath you. Stretch the legs out in front. And exhale, slowly down. Now bend the knees, keeping the knees together for a moment. Constructive rest pose. Placing your sacrum on the ground, relaxing your neck. Steady breaths, nice and easy. Walk your feet in close together. Cross your right knee over the left and squeeze the knees a little bit towards each other. Then, as you exhale, both knees over to the right side. We'll stay here breathing for a few breaths. Give me five breaths here. One. Releasing the back muscles, two, three, four, keep breathing, nice and easy, five, inhale back to the center, switch the legs, get your left leg on top, give it a little squeeze in. And then exhale, let's go on over to the left side and draw the ribs in. One, two, stay with it, keep breathing. Three, four, almost there, keep breathing. Nice and easy. Five, inhale, come on back to the center. Exhale. Feet down for a moment. Keep the mind nice and calm. Then let's drop both knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug. No force, just breathe. Feel the hips, feel the breath, feel the body. Inhale, extend the legs up to Vibhuta Karani. Point the toes, relax your shoulders. Relax your mind, relax your body. Soft, deep breathing. Let yourself unwind. Relax, release, drop gently down. Keeping the mind quiet and calm. Allow yourself a few more moments here and really just soak in the space of your practice. Let the good vibes of your yoga practice melt away tension. Plant the seeds of peace, of harmony, of kindness. Gently bend the knees, place the feet on the ground. Walk your feet forward until the legs are straight. Come up onto the elbows. Point the feet forward. Point the head back. Elbows on the ground, chest up. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Let's stay for five breaths. One, expand your heart. Two, each breath moves in and out through the chest and expands the heart. Three, nice and easy. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, flatten the spine down. Hug your knees into your chest again. Give yourself a little roll from side to side. Come on back to the center, feet down, and then exhale, lie all the way down. Let's take rest. Take rest, take rest.
Bring your attention to your heart. Feel your body at the level of the heart. Feel your breath at the level of the heart. Notice your mind and your emotions. Plant the seeds of peace and happiness. Take a moment and recognize your worthiness of happiness, of peace, and of love. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. Imagine what a life would feel like if every moment was infused with peace, love, and happiness. Carry that seed with you off of your practice into your life. A long deep breath in now as the arms raise and a little stretch. And then fold the knees. Exhale in. Roll over onto your side. And inhale, come on back up. Eyes closed, hands in prayer, steady breaths. Ooh. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining and remember, tune in tomorrow to continue this 30 days of yoga and hopefully you'll feel more energized, more peaceful, more happy, and more inspired to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing.